Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Financial Management MCQs. We are on our mission to be doing every possible MCQ in three subjects that is CA Inter Costing and FM and CA Final Self Paced Paper. So let's see our things. Before we continue, the link of the courses are given in the description in case you are interested in purchasing it. Apart from that, join our Telegram channels for the further updates on these subjects. So let's see what is the question for today. Capital Gearing Ratio. Capital gearing ratio is a fraction of means ratio of get me the four options, please. Preference share capital and debentures to equity share capital and reserves in surplus. Okay, that's A. Okay, B over here, equity share capital and reserves in surplus. Further, to preference shares and debentures. Okay, B and C option, equity share capital to total assets. Lastly, total assets to equity share capital. Now, first of all, capital gearing ratio is actually what? Uh, before that, please, if you all can comment, comment at this, this moment of time. Okay, so with this, let's start to be continuing this. Capital gearing ratio is the fraction of. Now, first of all, what do you mean by capital gearing ratio? Capital gearing ratio. See, there are something called as owner's funds. In owner's funds also, there are two types of owners, which are them, equity and preference. But then there's small kind of a difference. For preference shares, you have a fixed preference dividend in most of the cases. Okay. And the other form of capital is debt capital. So therefore, there is a similarity between debt and preference. What is that? You have to be paying fixed cost to them. For debentures, we pay them fixed interest. Okay. Which is obviously an expense allowed for income tax. Apart from that, for preference shares, you all pay preference dividend. So therefore, we want to be knowing what is the ratio of fixed bearing funds divided by the flexible or the owner's fund. And therefore, preference share capital and debentures is one group. And what is the common thing uh, between them? We pay fixed cost for them. Apart from that, the owner's capital, there is nothing called as fixed cost for them. Company might declare the dividend, might not declare the dividend. That depends upon the interest of the company as such. Okay, so therefore, capital gearing ratio, the formula is preference plus debt. That is nothing but those kind of capital for which there is fixed interest or fixed preference dividend. Divided by, in the denominator, you all have equity shareholders funds. In case you want to be knowing how to be computing equity shareholders funds, that's equity share capital plus reserves in surplus, less any expenses which are not written off till date. Okay. So, obviously the objective is to be finding out, it indicates the financial risk to the company. If suppose this ratio is 2 is to 1, we try to be saying that, you know, for every rupee of owner's capital, you have two rupees of that capital for which you have to pay something each and every year. So therefore, higher the ratio, higher is the risk of making the payment of interest and preference dividend every year. So coming back to our question, our four options were A, B, C, D. So out of that, I think A makes the maximum sense for us. That is preference share capital and debentures to equity share capital and reserves in surplus. Okay. So as for me, A should be the correct answer. That's it. I'll see you all in the next lecture. Bye. Take care.